Hello guys, BJ Manuel here from Abstract Graphics. I want to welcome you back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create this beautiful skincare product ad video shown on your screen right now. Right, so it's going to be easy, fun to create, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Um, if today's your first time, please hit the subscribe button before the video starts. To all returning subscribers, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Let's jump right into the video of today. Yeah. Hey guys, all right, you're welcome to this tutorial. So for this tutorial, um, I'm not going to be starting from scratch. And why I'm not going to be doing that is because everything you need is already available. So we are not creating something new. If we are to be creating something new, I'll be showing you how I created something, all right? So everything you need is already on Kind Master. I see this is one of the cool things I love about Kind Master. They make everything available to you, all right? So um, it's just... Um, pick and apply pick and apply so there is nothing you are actually going to be creating right on your own okay so um this is actually um, my project so this is what the project looks like um there's a lot there but um they are all simple stuff all right so nothing um extra okay um basically you are just um, duplicating and um reapplying so you can see everything you see here is reduplicated um into the other scene all right so now for the um for the clips that i used you can get them from um pixels right so if you see the name if you check the name on the um so you see uh they were um gotten from okay the name is not here all right but if you look closely uh you okay i think this one yeah uh pixels media all right this one carries the name pixels media all right so i have a bunch of them that i downloaded from um pixels um let me show you what i mean okay so um there you go so you see them um they are i downloaded all of them from pixels okay so you can go ahead you see pixels media uh pixels media they are all from pixels so you can go ahead and download yours Okay, from pixels just search for um, maybe skincare and you just use the search word skincare and I'm sure you get all this from there and then you can use it in your project okay so all right you see why I said we're not creating anything so um, now for the first thing let's just get into the business of the day for the first scene um, the square you're seeing there um, you can create on your own here Okay, you can create from this place, change your yeah to white, and then you can pick the square and then just create your own square, right? Like that, and then you can also create your um, yeah the outline. Just change the um, the size. I don't know if that size is okay. So you just you know make sure that. like that and then you can adjust it while once you're done okay so when you're done you can just you know uh, adjust it and make sure that it fits like so okay so uh, basically that's all there is to that okay um, but for my my own I used uh, pixel lab because I don't want to stress myself too much so I used pixel lab, pixel lab to create the square and the outline all right and I um, exported them separately okay this is what I'm talking about so if I go to um, this place you see what I'm talking about so I created this I exported it separately I created this I exported it separately 
right? So you can use your Kind Master to do that, okay? So, uh, and, uh, sorry, your Pixel Lab to do that. Very simple. I created the background too, all right, on Pixel Lab, all right? But you can use Kind Master to create this, all right? I'll show you how to do that real quick. Um, how you can do that is you can just create, go to create, come to um, FX, and you can search for um, mask, linear mask. So you search for linear mask, beautiful, and um, select that. So you have something like this, and all you need to do now is just go out there, um, select that, click on settings. Make sure that your mask is selected. Go to settings, and then you can just feather that. Okay, all right, and then you can, you know, maybe switch this or just do this. I think this is better. Okay, so now you can just switch the angles, maybe like that, and then you can have that. Just fill the screen with that. Beautiful. I'm sure you understand where I'm going with that, and then you can just change your color. And that's it and then all you need to do now is duplicate this okay so you duplicate and then you go into the settings and you change the color to whatever color you want like that and then all you need to do now is just flip the um, position the angle like so so you get the gist now all right and all you need to do is just make sure that the background this back whatever is at the clip you, you discover that what we just created now is a layer all right so whatever you want to create on the clip make sure it's a black background this is what i'm talking about so i'm not going to be using uh i'm not going to be using this as an example now because it will just destroy everything we've created so i'm going to be using a layer as an example but when you want to do yours don't use a layer make sure you use a clip all right a media fine so i just want to show you what it will look like with a black background behind it or a white background beneath it all right so it's it makes all the difference all right let's pick a white one first and then i'll you know I'll stretch that out like so good and then what i'll do is i'll send to send backwards yeah and then i'll send it backward one more time because i have two layers ahead of it and then you see what it looks like with a white background beneath it all right now if you change the color to black this is what it looks like all right so it's your choice you decide if you want a white background beneath it or a black background or a different color entirely to make it even interesting you see like that so um it's definitely up to you whatever you want to do but basically that's just how you create um a i i think i'm gonna create i'm gonna do uh another tutorial on how to create um gra a gradient um background or layer using kind master because i'm sure a lot of people don't know how to do that okay so i'll just delete that and then i'll delete that and then we can go ahead with our tutorial now for all right so um i think basically that's everything there is now for that shadow beneath behind our product because without that it won't look realistic so how i did that was i grabbed a solid background all right just go to your layer grab a black background and then come to crop and crop it using a circle like that and then you feather it real real mad all right so just feather it and you have that okay so basically that's everything you have there and all you need to do is just apply your in animation and everything is gel all this you see they are all texts you can just add your text and um, voila period now for the next scene, it's just the image you have there, um, and then 
you know when you bring in your image the uh, image of the lady is going to be at the center and we don't want that all right so um, what I did was I created a mask like I just showed you on the right hand side on my right hand side and um, I used it to cover um, let me show you what I mean right now all right so if I remove the mask this is what you are going to have you see that black space because I had to move the clip to the to the left so that the image of the lady can be on the left and while the right up can be on the right all right but it's going to leave a gap all right so to cover that gap you have to use the mask just like I showed you earlier uh, so you use the mask to you know um, fill that place and then make sure you pick the same color as the background of the lady and voila that's just it okay so and every other thing is just text and um, yeah that box you see there um, is a, uh, a sticker okay it's a sticker uh, called the colorful lower third and this is where it is so you have to download it if you don't have it already you have to go to the asset store and download it so it is called the colorful um, lower third so you have to um, pick any one you want so I picked that and that's the one I used but what I did was I had to you know change the color so you can you have the liberty of changing the color from here and then I fainted it a little bit so it looks a little bit transparent and I'm sure you know how to go about that um, just reduce the opacity and um, that's that's it so reduce the alpha that's the opacity is what is called the alpha okay so and basically that's it all right and then the text and then you bring in your product animate it and voila you're done uh, the same thing on the next scene you move it a little bit we still have that um, um, masking by the right hand side to cover because I had to shift um, the image of the lady all right so um, basically that's everything you need to know about this now for this um, square you're seeing here it's also a sticker uh, you can get that um, it's called simplicity yeah simplicity 2.0 right so you can download it if you don't have it and I used this one here okay so if you change it you're gonna have something like that so it depends on what you want to do all right so there are a lot of them um, right there so yeah you can have the circle you can have this but this is the one I used okay so um, get it and every other thing is they are just texts and the uh, image uh, of your product the PNG of your product bring it in animate it and that is it and the same thing with the third scene everything you see there just the same all right um, nothing different okay and then the last scene just a replication of the first just that the flowers are not there and um, I bring in more all the products that were on display in this in the previous scenes I bring them in to, to wrap it all up and that's everything that there is to know about creating this all right so um, try it out if you have any question or you have any challenges reach out to me I'll be glad to show to get rich um, back to you and tell you exactly what you need to know so you can get the music from the asset store will be all right that's the name of the music get from the asset store and um, you can add some sound effects to the transitions you can add some um, light glow or um, lens flare all these you can get on either pixels or you can get it on YouTube by using your tube mates to download um, them all right just search for lens flare and get it on YouTube all right and um, you know that's it guys nothing big nothing much um, there are lots of um, layers actually but once you get to understand how they are used you discover they are just simple things that you can do on your own right so that's all there is to um, this
and with that we've come to the end of today's tutorial if you did everything well you should have it like that so guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel help us hit 1k subscribers thank you so much guys god bless you i'll see you in the next one guys bye for now